we're turning $10,000 into $100,000. We're very new to the challenge. Let me give you an update. So here we are. We're currently at $10,745. This started four days ago. By the way, in case it's not clear, if you don't want to start with 10 k fine. You can start with $100 or $1,000, whatever you want. Nothing I say will be financial advice, of course. I don't necessarily want you to copy trade me. You can if you want to. As I mentioned before, uh, please watch the other video. But basically, our goal is to try and safely, without degening too much, get up to 100 k we will use a lot of dApps. We'll probably get some airdrops along the way just by using those dApps. We'll also most likely be rugged at least once for some of our balance. So we want to stay mostly within, you know, like 90 or 80% of our, our balance goes into stuff that's decent and very, very low rug risk. Camino, staking, all these sort of things. I don't believe there's any rug risk on, on staking, by the way. But nevertheless, it's a Effectively, day four or day five of this, we started August 5th. It's now August 9th. I'll tell you what I've done, and then I can give you a bit of an update. So as we can see, I've got some more JLP. I've got some bonk here. Not much USDC. We have some ore. I bought some ore. I bought it at like $186, 0.5, and then I set a dollar cost average. So we can have a look at that dollar cost average. And uh, let's just go down and have a look at that. So if we go to Jupe Exchange, connect our wallet and DCA, we can see just $100 was put in. Now, the reason for this is I actually wrote about it. This is what we're after. Should we mine ore? The, the answer is no, we shouldn't. Uh, I made one mistake in this. I know I know what it was. I just did it. I wrote the wrong thing. There's one ore mined every minute, not every day. And this is how I've done it. I bought 0.5 and I did $100 uh, USDC every three hours for 30 orders. If you still wanted to go ahead and do this and, and mine ore, you can. We will probably mine ore in the future as part of this experiment of 10k into 100k. However, right now it's just not profitable. We spend $2 in Seoul, we make 20 cents or something in ore. It doesn't work. That's why I've just given myself a little bit of price exposure and it's more of a long-term bet. So that's what that looks like. We still have other limit orders firing there. Uh, Meteora, I can go and withdraw this because this didn't work out well. Nothing went bad, but in a, in a previous video, I went and set the limit orders as soon as things started to just to pump up. So we're going to the DLMM. It's just sitting there. It's not earning any yield. It's just pointless. Uh, let's let, let this load slowly. Meteora is a little bit slow at the moment. These servers need to be beefed up. It should be in this pool here somewhere, but it will show your deposits. It's just not loading for us. There we are. Jump in there. All right. So there's no point. We earned a 64 cents. I'm just going to withdraw and close. I wanted to buy and sell Sol when Sol was at what I thought was the bottom. And in case it went lower. Now we've already got some because we DCA another way. This, this is not needed. Let's just withdraw all of this. And then we're going to have some more. Withdraw and close position. All right. So we'll grab all that back. The other thing I want to mention is uh, I've been sent an all domain. So I'm thinking we should get ourselves a domain name at some stage. And although we go with a .sol, which I do like, and .sol would be great for branding, all domains has quite a few things. And I feel they need to fight for more competition. So they've got a token. I think the tokenomics are not good, just to be direct and honest. They've got plenty of domains. But in order to try and spruce up some things, maybe they're going to get some more uh, like an airdrop going out or something. I have no alpha on that, but they've got a point system and this point system could be worthwhile. So I guess we're going to do a little bit of airdrop farming here. So I've been sent this. I've been sent this from a friend. He's just like, hey, I got this one. You should use it. I'm like, All right, I'll use it. So seb.gm, set it as a favor, set it as a main domain and then approve.gm. Now people are going to send me crypto as like donations and stuff. There's no expectation that you do that. If you do it, I'm going to do my best to move it to a different wallet so that it doesn't inflate this 10K challenge. Also, Sonar.watch is still doing really well. Step.finance is not pulling all of our information, unfortunately, whereas we can see uh, this is doing well. As I mentioned with Ore, I bought it like not there, like 187, and it's just gone down. I think Ore has brilliant narrative vibes. It just needs to be profitable. It needs to take over the timeline. Ideally, someone needs to come out with a GUI, a, G, a graphical user interface, like when you used to mine Ethereum. If you've ever done that, you just download something, you just plug in the parameters, it does everything, you set the private key, as opposed to doing via the CLI. CLI first, of course, but for this to really take off, we will need a GUI. Now, the other thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to grab some WIF and some JTO. Now, this is a little bit crazy and maybe counterintuitive because Blunt's thought that Sol was going to like the top was in. And I think he's a little bit more bullish now, but I don't know if he's fully kind of retracted 
that was incorrect or whatever. It was somewhat correct. If you started shorting at that period, you would have maybe been okay. He did say he's he's got this, you know, this crazy target, right? We're going up. Now, I wanted to grab this when it was a little bit lower, but I wanted to do it and have it in a video that goes out the same day so that people can see what I'm doing for those that are not live tracking my wallet. So we're going to buy some whiff now because we we're still going to be okay. We're also going to use a, a new dApp. It's going to be Phoenix. And we're also going to buy some JTO. So this is with going hard, blah, blah, blah. And we're coming down. He also mentioned JTO. I like JTO here. Bop, bop, bop. I mean, remember, like it's it's quite often come back up to that $4 level. So I want to go and buy some now. Ideally, it would have been $2.15. Now it's a little bit more. All right. So we're going to try phoenix.trade. Start trade. Now, a couple of things with Phoenix. I like the dApp. Sometimes the DAP does something strange to my computer where it's very resource intensive for some strange reason, but that's fine if it happens to you. It's just un unusual. This is made mostly for traders. Like this is made for like great APIs for market makers. This is not meant for you and I. I do not think they will ever have an airdrop. So we're not airdrop farming this. Nevertheless, if they do, it's great. Now, the reason why we like this better is because it's better than dupe.ag and limit orders because limit orders have to go on chain. And as soon as they go on chain, like they can be delayed. Like if there's a little bit of slippage, they will not get filled. So we want to use both because obviously using limit orders may get us a dupe airdrop come January next year. But using this will mean if the price goes down and there's enough look like if there's enough orders coming there to pick it up and a lot of arbitrage is done via phoenix then it will fill so we're going to use it all right whiff and usdc i want to go and buy i'm just going to go and buy some now nothing crazy let's go with like 300 300 worth go and buy that approve that once i've bought that i'm going to go and set a limit order to sell I'm not going to be too greedy i'm going to sell it at two dollars and ninety so now go and sell that for $2.90. That's going to make us a little bit. We can do this and I would probably prefer to do this to do like uh, 80% or sorry, 50% 80 tokens at that price. And then we will be a little bit greedier. I'm not going to go based on like just randomly drawn lines, but we'll, we'll go in the mid midway. Let's go. I mean, it's gone. That's JTO. So this doesn't even work. Uh, we won't worry. We'll go back here. Let's go with like $3.30 for say uh, 30 place limit order. I'm not bullish on it long term because I just don't see like this major organized effort that can come. And when that comes, then I can turn bullish. And then we're going to go have like some random kind of sky high targets. Like if it happens, these will just fill and then we can withdraw the USDC. All right. So we've, we've put that in. The other thing we wanted to grab or I want to grab is some JTO. And also I'm thinking a little bit of Popcat as well. So let's go market by, I'm going to market by like $300 worth and expected slippage. This would be fine. What is with this crazy slippage? I mean, there's a lot of money here. There should be no slippage whatsoever. Estimated average price. This is nuts. All right, there's something going on with this order book system because there should be no slippage whatsoever. Let's just go do a limit order just in case there's nothing going on. If I look, if I pay an extra cent, I'm okay with paying an extra cent. We'll go and do $300, place a limit order and approve. Well, it's gonna fill, that's fine. At least we didn't have any slippage. Most likely there was a UI issue, but if you see a UI issue, you don't wanna risk it, right? So we should be good. That should be fine. Let's now look at Blunt's random things. I think $4 is definitely possible. And I would like to have some at $5. So I want to go a little bit earlier than that. So we've got 107. If we go with 80 selling at $4, we'll be getting back our monies, honeys. With a small amount of profit, like we're just making these kind of small bets. If they start to play off, if one trader does better than another trader, we may follow that person's advice. If they go cold, we may switch. That kind of thing. Five, max, and approve. And then the other token that I want to have a look at is uh, PopCat. So we can go to BirdEye or we can go to Deck Screener. I think Deck Screener is better, but we'll go, we'll, we'll just go here for now. PopCat has been just growing and growing and growing. And like, it's probably at, at its like all time high almost. No. Okay. So it can, yeah. If we try and take some profit at like 90 cents, it could be worthwhile. Popcat, where are you? Yeah. All right. We're going to go and buy market price. Just nothing crazy. And you don't have to do any of this. This is not copy trading. It's just what I'm doing. $300. Cool. It's nice. Actually, I'm going to do another 300. I think Popcat's been doing well. I think it's worth 
worth it. I'm still seeing this crazy stuff here. This is annoying. Limit price. No, just just take it easy. Take it, take it easy. Take it slow when you're using any DEP in particular. But if it's something shows you some crazy slippage, just in case where we've got our settings wrong or there's an MEV slippage or I don't even know what's going on. We shouldn't have any problems, but just don't rush things if you think there you could lose money. All right. So now we're going to go and sell this. I'm going to sell this at 90 cents. 400 of that place limit order and approve and then I'm also then we'll take this and we'll do like uh one dollar and ten cents and we'll do like 400 of this and we'll leave them just sitting there maybe maybe we lose maybe we have to close them that's fine I, I still want to do plenty of other things but I, one thing I am keen on is getting some cat dog nothing crazy here this fairly sure is the correct uh, token, but let's go have a look at this one. There's just been a, I haven't done a lot of research into this. I'm not trying to shield my bags. I do have some another wallet, which I've shown publicly. It's like $700 worth. I just think it's quite clever. It's quite clever. Cat dog. I don't think the market cap's necessarily that high. It seems to be going up. A little bit of exposure, if this works, could be worthwhile. It's just kind of grinding away $87 million market cap, just grinding away, right? I don't know even when it was created or what it's gone, what it's gone up. But it would have, of course, gone up something pretty decent. People are, are definitely in profit. There can be a, quite a bit of resistance around 100 million, but I just want a small bag and I'm just going to let it run. You can skip this. If you don't like this advice, you can skip this. All right, cat dog, go and copy that. Come back here, paste it in so we know we've got the right one. Great, $100 and we can buy. There's another thing we can potentially do. We don't know what's going to qualify us for due penury, but if we're doing DCAs or limit orders or things like that, that would also most likely, even though we spend a little bit of extra funds with, with Jupiter, 0.1%, that will probably qualify us for these sort of things. There's no alpha here. I think people know that that is certainly going to exist. And we're just going to do it every, every three minutes. That way, you know, we're still using we're still using DCA. It may qualify us for Jupenary. It may not. DCA created. We're all good. So that's pretty much everything I want to do today. There are some other things that I will be doing. And I've linked these in my in my normal video, but in case you haven't watched that, by the way, use Lulo if you're not sure how to use that fully. I've got a video on that. It'll be linked below. So the other thing that I'm keen on is Infinex. I have plenty of conviction on this. This is going to cost us about $15 in order to do this thing on CoinVise, which I need to scroll down to see if I can even find where it is because it's not pinned and there's not many people that are doing it. So I literally think if this is worth doing. I'm going to do this with this wallet here as well, but I'm not going to do it on this video because it needs its own separate tutorial. And so if you want to work it out, you can work it out. Otherwise, I'll do a separate tutorial and then you can watch that. But know that I am doing this. It's about $15 worth of gas fees, $10 we go and deposit. We do a few different things. We're probably going to put $50 at it. We are going to go to another blockchain and I'm happy with that. I like this. I think it's going to pay off in the end. Anyway, that's everything I'm doing with my 10K to 100K challenge. Let me know your thoughts below. If you're doing some things, if you're not doing some things, I'm keen to know I'm going to do what I want to do, but I will listen to the feedback and we will certainly pivot when there's alpha provided.